WMIX Sports brings you a special presentation of the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout, hosted by Casey Middle School. Today's games are made possible with limited commercial interruption by Culver's of Mount Vernon. These games on WMIX Sports are brought to you in part by the Jefferson County Farm Bureau, Huey Funeral Home, Budget Building Supplies, Josh Finley, your country financial agent, and DollarSavingDeals.com. The Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout starts now. Welcome inside the Pinkston Palace where game number two of our special junior high coverage begins today as the Mount Vernon Junior Rams, otherwise known as the Casey Junior Rams, will battle the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs. I'm Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside Alan Ross back at the Mount Vernon studio. Jeff Crow will take care of the camera today for our WMIX Sports YouTube channel or if you want to get specific, yes, yes, yes. You can access this from the section 618.com app, though that is the number one seat for Southern Illinois High School sports, not necessarily junior high sports, but you can go there. You can tap, click tap to watch Mount Vernon sports. You can watch it there, or you can access the feed there for WMIX AM play-by-play. And again, Rams and Junior Bulldogs today. Junior Bulldogs will feature a bevy of talent that was part of their state title run in baseball in the fall in Class L. And they really weren't challenged in baseball. They won every game by a large margin, and they'll certainly be well coached as uh, Coach Denny Anderton's been doing this quite a while, about 46 years, according to their athletic director down there in well, Harrisburg. Kyle McGowan, appreciate him providing me with some information, me and you. So, What well, you think of some of the talent that Harrisburg's had come through, not just the junior high level. Obviously, they've developed into great high school studs as well, and you think about that and, and some of the guys that he would have seen come through, especially that high school class of 2000, 2001 into 2002, and uh, some studs rolled through for sure. That was sure. Smith Peters, and there's probably a Roper in that group. And they won a state title, I believe, in basketball. I believe they're going back oh, further. Going I'm, further. Going, I'm talking Brad Brashear, uh, ah. Brayden Jones, uh, that group. And yeah, there would have been Smith Peters back then, more than likely. Yeah, too, about but, four or five of them. So, so yeah. coach, uh, coach definitely had some kids. But then you talk about this matchup this year, and of course, it's a Harrisburg team. The Junior Bulldogs come in 12 and one. The Junior Rams are 10 and one, and. You know, talking to Pink, Travis Pinkson, head coach of KC Junior Rams, when we talked about doing this, we talked about getting these games on the air here today, it sort of became one of those things where it's like, hey, you know, if things play out right, the season goes as it should, the pairings and matchups and regionals all go as they should, there's a potential this could be a state final game. Certainly, matchup. certainly could be a preview of a definitely state final game as two highly touted teams. Mount Vernon comes in off a... Tough two-point win on the road. I believe it was Monday night in Salem, a good Salem team. Mount Vernon was able to knock off. It wasn't easy. Boy, it wasn't. And we're on today. And, of course, I know some folks in Harrisburg watching. Uh, Jake Stewart, the Harrisburg Lady Bulldogs head coach, had shared this on his Facebook. And I, I know that, that piqued the interest of some of the junior Bulldogs fans. So we appreciate, of course, a longtime friend of what used to be our Saturday sports show, Jake Stewart, for, for sharing that information back for the folks in Harrisburg, who might normally listen to Sherman Owen call Harrisburg Bulldogs games on our sister station, WEBQ 93-7-1240, and um, a great broadcast crew they have down at WEBQ as well. But here we are in the King City today. We have limited commercial interruption thanks to our Mount Vernon Culver's. It's never too cold for a frozen custard at your Mount Vernon Culver's. Today's flavor of the day is turtle. It's a Culver's classic, and of course it all begins with creamy vanilla fresh frozen custard and swirl in ribbons of old-fashioned Salted caramel, or in Southern Illinois, caramel. Novelty chocolate and toasted pecan pieces. Sounds great. Washes down that pizza we just had here a moment ago. But uh, for the Rams and the Bulldogs, obviously hotly contested. And this is a Ram team with Travis Pinkston. Win winners of a state title not long ago, but still a wealth of talent. And he's brought, brought back about four starters off his fourth place team in Class L last year. And it would be imperative for Harrisburg to handle this Mount Vernon press. They're going to... Full court, man-to-man, -man, a lot of run and jump. We'll see if Harrisburg can handle the relentless pressure that Mount Vernon's going to throw at them. Of course, earlier scores today from the Mount Vernon, pardon me, the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon shootout hosted by Casey Middle School is the official long name of the shootout. Waterloo beat Benton earlier, 56-29. Westland was a 55-29 win over Mount Carmel. They did have a JV game. Casey beat Woodlawn 35-22. And as we reference Casey, if you're from Harrisburg, you may not know, Casey is Mount Vernon. So Casey beat Woodlawn 35-22. The two varsity teams met up earlier in uh, the month, or maybe that was in November, uh, at the Summersville shootout. Two-point game won by Mount Vernon that night. So 
The Woodlawn Varsity just wrapped up a 69-34 win over Sacred Heart out of Effingham a little bit earlier. So it's been a busy day of hoops here in this shootout that Travis Pinkson's put together. And I know he wanted to tweak the lineup a little bit. He was rebuffed in some cases. And I think had we all listened to Travis Pinkson, uh, some of the matchups would have been closer. Certainly, you know, Woodlawn, they probably didn't get much out of that game or didn't get what they were hoping to get out of as they were not challenged. As usual, the starters, you know, sat the end of the third quarter and all the fourth quarter. We'll probably, like PA man Rob Wilt, go back and forth between calling Casey Mount Vernon and Casey. It's Zadok Casey Middle School. It used to be Zadok Casey Junior High. And uh, obviously a, a name synonymous with the founding of not only the city of Mount Vernon, but a forefather of the great state of Illinois as well. And so that, many over the years have wondered why in the heck did they name their Junior High Casey. Well, that is why. And so... Tough to ignore, probably opportunities over the years, especially after the rebrand to Casey Middle School when they eliminated, pretty well eliminated, the Andy Hall sixth grade center from, from contention. I think they still call it. They still go over there. It's still there. It's still Hall. But um, sports and everything, they're now Casey instead of the Andy Hall Yellow Jackets. Yep. So. Certainly. At one time, you had about six, I believe, neighborhood schools, you know, Lincoln Lions, Horace Mann Mustangs, J.L. Buford. Buford, Buford. Tigers, Tigers, I think. Yeah. And that was when, I mean, you start to uh, notice, and we'll go on a tangent here. We do Mount Vernon Rams broadcast here on WMIX as well. That was sort of when things kind of dipped a little bit in Mount Vernon basketball, girls and boys both. You didn't have those, the Lincolns. You didn't have the the Bufords. You didn't have the Franklins, the Horace Manns, things like that, where kids were playing basketball from kindergarten on up. You lost that for a little bit. And we're finally starting to see Mount Vernon basketball both, both genders on an upswing. Now, granted, some of that talent, a lot of that talent's coming from the county. We're starting to see a lot of the, a lot of talent back here at Casey. And you're certainly seeing with Travis Pinkston, his fifth year has really got some continuity in this program where he's able to build it the way he wants to, and he's churning out really good teams every year, and we're seeing them. You know, Navante Nesbitt here at the uh, high school. We'll see the younger brother here in just a little bit. About three minutes before we have the national anthem here from Casey, and I don't feel like we've necessarily talked enough about this Harrisburg Junior Bulldog team. And You know, you talk about athletes, and they played baseball, they won the Class L state title, but they have brains as well, and that's what probably scares me the most. If I was being a Mount Vernon homer today, it's the fact they have a 3-9 GPA on a four scale as a team. And that's way more important at the end of the day than the wins and losses. So expect them to be a very good team. Their lone loss on the year was to a very good Carterville team which I know Carterville was a de desired target yeah. uh, to get into this shootout as well. And just some things didn't work out, and that's okay. I appreciate the hospitality. I know we appreciate the hospitality. Certainly, Travis Pinkston and the entire staff here at Casey Middle School. Travis has taken care of us all day. Doug Jones, the AD, has taken care of us start to finish as well. Um, Matt Reynolds, one of the board members, has stopped to talk for a little bit. Uh, first time we've been able to be in this new gymnasium that opened in 2019, 2020, and very nice, um, impressive, absolutely. And I know Matt's proud of Son Pacey and the JV Rams getting the win today over Woodlawn. I like the natural light that comes in here. That's just it's just a real good setting for basketball. It's the perfect size, not too big, not too small. Only one critique. That would have been the perfect opportunity to switch the Junior Rams to orange and black, but yeah. I said I would not talk about that today. I think a lot goes into that. I think gets to be a money deal, I think. And having lived here my entire life, again, I did not go to District 80. I went to one of the county schools. I believe at Woodlawn, when they consolidated five or six years ago, they discussed maybe getting a single mascot, and by the time they got into the money of it, it became non-feasible. Can't take it with you, Hank. Yeah. You're gonna no. Taxes are going to go up every year regardless. Oh, you might don't get me started. You might as well just <laughs> take about care tax of business. Time. And as the IHSA PSA says, do what's right. Yeah. So there we are. About 90 seconds before we have the National Anthem here. Glad to have those of you watching on the WMIX Sports YouTube channel. Of course, you can watch it on a smart TV, if so inclined, or those of you listening to us here on AM 940, 96.5 FM here in Mount Vernon today. For you Junior Rams fans, you can catch the Mount Vernon Rams on Tuesday and Wednesday nights this week. They're at Marion and Totopolis, respectively. You can listen to those games on 94.1 FM or watch them right here as we do stream most Mount Vernon Rams and Lady Rams basketball games, of course. There are some places that do not allow us to stream, but we're thankful to be able to stream from T-Town. Didn't know how that was going to go. Last time we were there, we were unable to. But here we are. We know we're going to have the national anthem. That is certain. Limited co commercial interruption today is why we keep talking, sponsored by our Mount Vernon Culvers. So we'll take a break to honor America here from the Pinkston Palace. We'll be back in a bit. This is the Junior High Showcase. 
Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Just ask our team member, Marcus. Let's just say you can take the restaurants out of America's Dairyland, but you can't take America's Dairyland out of the restaurants. Like the real Wisconsin cheese on our juicy butter burgers. The farm fresh dairy in our fresh frozen custard. Even our crispy golden Wisconsin cheese curds. It may sound cheesy, <laughs> cheesy, but we love where we come from at Culver's. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. Are you looking to build? <laughs> Have you called Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn? They offer quality steel building supplies at the best value. Made in the USA, they work with contractors and do-it-yourselfers. Budget Building Supplies has your steel building supplies for residential, commercial, and agricultural. Wait, that's everything. They offer metal roofing, siding, gutters, trim, and more. No job too big or too small. Budget Building Supplies on Highway 15 in Woodlawn. Call 618-242-1123. Agriculture is everywhere. From fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Did you know 97% of farms in Jefferson County are family-owned? Local farmers and families right here in our hometown who provide food, fuel, and fiber to all. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support local farmers who provide us with safe and nutritious food and materials we use every day. Learn more about where your food comes from and how we support local farmers. Farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510. This special presentation of the Mount Vernon Shootout with limited commercial interruptions made possible by Culver's of Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon Culver's in Mount... Oh, that's redundant. Mount Vernon Culver's did make limited commercial interruption a possibility today. Game two of our doubleheader features the Casey Junior Rams and the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs. Time to meet the starting lineups. First for Harrisburg, they're 12 and 1. They'll go with number 11, Burke Wilson. Number 12, Nash Villette. Number 14, Braxton Murphy. Number 23, Aiden Hankins. And rounding out the starting lineup, number 35, Quest Weatherington. The head coach, and he's been there longer than we've been alive, Denny Anderton. For Mount Vernon, they're 10 and 1. It'd be number 25, David Barnes. Number 24, Nazavion Nesbitt. Number three, Josh Crowder. Number four, Malik Grissom. And the lone seventh grader in the lineup, number 33, Carter Oliver. The Casey Middle School Rams are coached by Travis Pinkston. There we are, about to tip this one up in our final game of the day here from Casey Middle School. We've affectionately called it Pinkston Palace, but I don't know if the school board will adopt that or not by the time Got a this nice day ring is over. to it. As we're about to get underway, we promise you here what should be a great main event. We know you hear that all the time, anytime you have a main event. But this should be a dandy here between Harrisburg and Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon will be, as odd as it is for me to say, Mount Vernon will be white clad with maroon and gold trim as the Bulldogs will be in their away purple with white trim. Mount Vernon looks to have a sizable size advantage. Seven-minute quarters here in the junior high contest. It'll be Barnes for the Rams. Tip will be controlled by Mount Vernon. Already a layup. Easy money for Josh Crowder. And just like that, the junior Rams are up two zip with 6.53 left in the first. Bulldogs to the basketball. It's Vallette into the front court. left hand dribble. He'll stop at the wing. Looks around. Needs help. Finds somebody underneath. It'll be stolen away. Here's Barnes into the front court. He'll take it. Side step. Left hand. Good switch. Missed the layup. Rebound will be stolen away. Put back up. And in. You guessed it. I miswrote down names in my book, unfortunately. But it's 4 nothing Mount Vernon on top. I don't have the roster. I need, don't have the roster for this game anymore. That's why I grab five always. Huh. Jumper at the free throw line. Inside it's going to be no good by number 12, Nash Follette. And we'll have a foul. We'll see what this whistle is. Be the first foul on Grissom. Harrisburg goes to the line shooting two. So 6-14 left in the first. Vallette is at the line shooting a pair. 
There's one free throw. A 4-1 game. About to cut it to 4-2 if he can knock down the second. Again, limited commercial interruption. Presented by Malvern and Culver. 6-14 left in the first, and second free throw no good. Rebound, Zay Nesbitt with it. 6-10 left in the first. He'll throw up the left side here to Crowder. Looking back at the circle. Now up the right side. There's a three on the way and knocked down by Malik Grissom. It's 7-1 Rams here early in the early going. Harrisburg pressured in the backcourt. Now Vernon Hankins. playing man-to-man. -man. Hankins with the basketball. Right hand dribble outside the paint. Throws to the right wing now for Murphy. That's Stolen away. Carter Oliver on the steal. Oliver will get the steal. He'll go with a left hand layup. It's no good. Nesbitt the rebound right back to Oliver. Now to the outside. Three on the way. Grissom, no good. Rebound. This time we'll go to Harrisburg. All right. Had an old number change here. Yeah. They sneak them in on us, don't they? Yeah. It's like that's not on the roster. 7-1 <laughs> score. Rams by six. Bulldogs into the paint. Good turnaround off the dribble by number 23, Aiden Hankins, but it's no good. So far, the lone bucket is a free throw for the Bulldogs. Rams, meanwhile, get it done inside and out as Barnes. Left hand from the top. Inside runner is going to rim out. Rebound controlled by the Bulldogs. In transition, they throw it up ahead. Almost stolen away by Oliver. Got away with a carry. Did number 23, Hankins. And we'll have a Mount Vernon foul. So far, the Bulldogs one of two at the free throw line. Nash Vallette, the only free throw shooter. And now, nope, this, these aren't going to be shots either. First foul on Crowder. Second team foul on Mount Vernon. Five minutes to play in the first quarter. Limited commercial interruption this afternoon. Thank you to Mount Vernon Culver's. Quick inbound, Hankins, the runner baseline. Going to be short. Rebound will go to Grissom. Into the front court. Nesbitt coming up that side. Jump stop goes back door. Nice play to Josh Crowder. He has four. Nine to one Rams. Casey going to pick up full court man to man. Oliver in the back court against number 12, Vallette. He'll sneak across that timeline with 439 to go in the first. Dribbles off a foot. It'll be recovered in the paint. Grisson and company. Looks like we will have a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Bulldogs. And a timeout, Travis Pinkston. It'll be sponsored by Budget Building Supplies. The best service and pricing in the industry for contractors are those do-it-yourselfers. It's Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn, Highway 15, or call 618-242-1123. Harrisburg's going to have to adjust to this Mount Vernon quickness here pretty quick or it's going to be uh, out of hand early. In Mount Vernon, similar to Woodlawn, they're just able to get out in transition and off to the races. So with a 13 seconds left in this timeout, still plenty of time for Coach Pinkston to get his point across, but things were looking a little sloppy there at times for the Junior Rams defensively in the back court or the front court and the offensive end for the Bulldogs. And they're probably going to shore some things up. If I'm Harrisburg, I don't want to get an up and down game against Mount Vernon. No, sir. Junior Bulldog basketball beneath the bucket. They will throw in the number 15, Ian Crabb. Right hand dribble for Crabb, top of the key, looks to the right wing. Thought that was Hankins, maybe. No, nope, Hankins has it up top right now with a right hand dribble. With a left hand for Murphy, going around top of the key, throws it back to the right side, Wilson. Looking for Vallette inside, and the Bulldogs throw it away. It'll be Mount Vernon basketball with 4.15 to play in the first. That's three turnovers for Harrisburg. We'll have to stand up real quick. They throw to Barnes, high post. Able to slip out beyond the perimeter, now into the corner. That's Nesbitt. Oliver back up top, Grissom underneath. This will be crowded to the basket, turned around his defender and went to the hole, missed it. Rebound will go to the Bulldogs. Vallette into the front court. Kick from the free throw line. They'll spin it left wing here for Hankins. Murphy got it back to Hankins. With a right hand dribble, he'll give to the right wing here for Crab. Warm one today here in the Casey Middle School Gymnasium. That furnace definitely working all right. Nice play into the paint here on a running, running shot by Braxton Murphy. He gets the first field goal of the day for the Bulldogs. It's 9-3. to three. And That's been into the front court. This is Zay. By the time he gets to high school, he'll probably be Boo Zay. Yeah. Ah, no, he won't. I just realized how that sounded. That's up the right <laughs> side, missed the layup. Obviously a reference to his brother, Nevante yeah. Bure, star for the Mount Vernon Rams, as this will be Harrisburg in transition. Can't come up with anything. 
Crowder off the steal, goes back door to Zay. That's good. That's a beautiful transition basketball. Hankins in the front court now for Harrisburg. Off the left sideline, three is on the way. No good, Murphy. Rebound to be tipped around. Coming away with it now is Oliver into the front court. Kept his dribble somehow. I don't know how. Oh, and now looking for the pass. Telegraphed it with his eyes. Stolen away. Murphy goes for the layup. He's fouled. He's going to have to earn it. Murphy has two of the three for the Bulldogs, and now he'll get two at the line. Carter Oliver picking up a foul. First, first on him, third team foul. Appreciate the Jefferson County Farm Bureau. Did you know 97% of farms in Jefferson County are family owned? Yes, they are. Local farmers and families right here in our hometown who provide food, fuel, and fiber to all. Support local farmers at Jefferson cfb.org or call 618-242-4510 and learn about membership benefits with the Jefferson County Farm Bureau. Murphy at the free throw line. Bulldogs trailing 11-3. His first free throw good. 12-1 Harrisburg coming in. Rams are 10-1. One of these teams is going to get their second loss of the season. And right now, off the early start, any indicator, this, the Mount Vernon Rams don't want it to be them. Four of the five belong to Braxton Murphy. Number 14, 11 to five. Rams on top. Nesbitt will hand off. Uh, Ellis checked in a moment ago. Grissom will go right back to Nesbitt. Has Crowder in the paint. Now goes to Barnes. Barnes will go left hand, try to slide left post. He is fouled on the way, but they call the travel. Right then. I think he took an extra step. Looks that way. In hindsight, Rams 11, Bulldogs 5, 2 12 left in the first quarter. Across the half line is Wyatt, wrong side, that is Noah Valetti. Valette, pardon me. Well, curled baseline, stopped left block, posted up, and got the jumper. That was a good looking shot. The rim did the rest. It's 11 to 7. So a 6 0 run now for the Bulldogs. They kick corner, three on the way. Ellis is going to be short. Rebound now to Harrisburg, and that is Hankins. Switches to a right hand dribble across the timeline, and that is a travel as well. Took that extra step, and so they'll trade a couple of travels here with about a minute 40 left to go in this first quarter. So turnover number five for the Bulldogs. This will be Crowder into the front court. From the left wing, he'll try to drive and go right block on a diagonal cut. And Rams come up empty as the Bulldogs take control. Valette into the front court with a right hand. Using that speed to get it to the right wing now for Kraft. Throwing to the top for Murphy. Valette dribbles free throw line. Was looking for a right block chance, and he's fouled before he gets there by, it looks like, Malik Grissom. Got Barnes on the foul somehow. Huh. I okay. saw it the same way you did. But. So now at the line, Nash Follett. Make it 11-8. One possession game. He can cut it two points here with a minute 16 remaining in this first quarter. It's been a nice response by Harrisburg after falling way behind early. Start Made them both. Packing the lane on defense, trying to make Casey... Shoot over him. He's three of four at the line. Minute 15 to play in the first quarter. Nesbitt with the basketball crossing the timeline for the junior Rams. And they're home whites with maroon and gold trim. Right hand dribble for Nesbitt. Throws to the opposite way. Three on the way is going to be short by Grisson. And the rebound will go to the Bulldogs with a minute one to play in the first. Let's see Harrisburg really sagging that defense into the paint. And then a back tap there by Grisson. He'll go the other way. Races down for the layup and no good. Got, Ellis got the rebound, and now it'll be Nesbitt trying to come baseline. Instead, throws to the outside for Barnes, who tried to stretch like a first baseman for the ball. Then throws up a short three. Rebound will be saved, but it's saved into the Bulldogs. Good hands by Burke Wilson. Hankins into the front court in transition. Harrisburg plays too quickly. They throw it away. 30 seconds left in the first. It's 11-9 Rams. Some of the Effingham crew stuck around. Most of Woodlawn gone. That Woodlawn money will spend. Yes, they brought a sir. huge crowd. Always have a good following. Barnes with it up top. Left hand stops on a jump stop mid post. Missed a shot. Rebound will go to Hankins. 
quite a bit of contact there. Harrisburg again trying to play too quickly. They were looking for the backdoor lob. It ended up as a backdoor jet. Ends up out of bounds. Quest Weatherington back into the game. Might be a future contender for the River to River Ohio all name team. Yes, it's a, it's a mouthful. 13 seconds left in the first. 11 9 score. Rams with the basketball. They lobbed to the high post for Barnes. What's he going to do? Right back to Grissom out of the corner. Now throwing to Barnes off the block. He'll go back to get out of the short corner with two. He'll have to throw up a shot at the buzzer. It's good. <laughs> David Barnes gets on the. Gets a bucket at the buzzer, and that'll take us to the second. After one, it's Casey Junior High 13, Harrisburg 9. We'll come back in a minute. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Hi, welcome to Culver's. Just ask our team member, Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a customer. You're a guest in our home. See, where we come from, people do right by each other. It's why we cook each Butter Burger to order just for you, right down to getting the perfect sear on the beef. That extra care may be a small town thing, but it's big time important to us. Come on in and let us serve you with a smile that stretches from our hometown to yours. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd and Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the ministry women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. The Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School, a special presentation from WMIX Sports. Here at the Pinkston Palace where it's heating up, the Mount Vernon Rams 13, the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs 9. I'm Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside as we are back for quarter number two. Holiday Hoops, the Mount Vernon shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. Here's the Junior Rams. Zay Nesbitt to the basket, right block. Harrisburg says it's going the other way, but I thought I saw a foul. I got sweat coming down the face, Henry. That's the first foul on, on Harrisburg the entire game. Of course, these headsets will do that to you. As Zay Nesbitt's first free throw, no good. He'll have another 13-9 Rams. Let's see if we can get the second one. Nope. Rebound Bulldogs headed the other way. 13-9 your score. 6.50 mark of the second quarter. Millette with it. Cross the free throw line and now cuts back to the right block after going to the far side of the paint from our perspective. Be the second foul on Grissom, 15 foul on Mount Vernon. So 6.45 left in the half. We'll have your Huey Funeral Home halftime show coming up. As Harrisburg, a quick inbound. Guess who? Braxton Murphy gets another. 13 11 score, 6.35 left in the half. Zay wants a three, gets it. All right. Still think that's a shot Harrisburg will give up the entire game. 16-11 score, Rams by five. They've led by as many as 10. They throw inside, the Bulldogs do. Low post jumper, no good by Weatherington. Rebound to the Rams. Barnes into the front court quickly. From the right wing, had his pocket picked by Burke Wilson. And the Rams another turnover here. 6.05 left in the second quarter. Up top, what do we got? We have Ian Crabb. Looking to the right wing for Braxton Murphy. Has Weatherington in the post. They'll go to him outside. Ball fake right as he dribbles in. Now throws to Vallette as the defense clears. Three is no good. Rebound Weatherington. Throws back to the outside. Step back three in route. It's long. Rebound Barnes. Baseball throw to Zay. Pump fake. He'll drive. Layup good. 16, 18-11 Rams. Up I believe seven uh, those two have done that a time or two in their lives. Certainly appear to be that way. Try to get that replay in a moment. And that was Barnes to Nesbitt on the fly pattern. Weatherington off dribble. We'll throw to the top, but let. They swing left wing here for Murphy. Back to Crab up top to the right wing for Weatherington. Bounce pass. Good move here. Oh, back door on Selfish. Off the left block. It's no good by Wilson, though. Rams rebound the other way. Here comes Grissom. Malik. Crossover dribble inside to Ellis. His shot's good. 
Noah Ellis had the high disadvantage. He didn't care. He made it anyway. 2011 Rams. As soon as we get a dead ball, look at that replay of that impressive play a moment ago. Weatherington off of the right arc. Met by Ellis. Bounces the pass to Murphy. He lost it, but it's recovered at the top of the key by Vallette. Now to Weatherington. Step back three from the right wing is no good. Front iron. Rebound Barnes. Up ahead. Stymies the defenders. He goes to a hole and gets oh, it. Called a charge. Oh, charge. Let's watch that one again. That play from earlier. I thought he's too far into the basket to really be able to draw a charge, but that's a second foul on Barnes. 4.30 remains here in the second quarter. 20-11, your score. Rams by nine. 4.30 mark of the second. So Vallette off of the foul and turnover into the front court for the Bulldogs. Ball fake right. Let's a jumper go from the low post. Burke Wilson, the rebound, puts it back up and in and gets his points on the night. It's 20 to 13, now a seven point game. Barnes with two fouls, Harrisburg wisely went right inside. Zay Nesbitt into the front court. Off wing, bounces the pass to the free throw line. Barnes, a ball fake underneath. This is out of my perspective and now they throw to the outside. Looking for Oliver, it's thrown to Wilson, and they get it up ahead to Crab in transition. His layup's good. That cuts it to five. We're going to see Crowder and Brown in a moment. Left hand dribble here by Barnes. He'll pull up from about 17. No. Rebound underneath. Looks like it was Hopkins who had it. And we'll have a Harrisburg foul. Bankston certainly goes to his bench. Yeah, he's going deep into the bench. We're building that depth. So Hopkins to the line to shoot a couple here, try to get this back to a three-possession lead for the junior Rams with 3.33 left in this first half. If you're looking for a fun, fast-paced, good-paying job, work for the Blue Crew family at Culver's in Mount Vernon. Go to Culver's.jobs and search for Mount Vernon to apply today. First free throw not there, Kylan Brown and Josh Crowder back into the game. David Barnes and Noah Ellis will take seats. Meanwhile, Hopkins in the middle of a two-shot set from the free throw line. Thought I saw Tim Holloway somewhere. He is down in the third row. There he is. Quinn McClure was here, is here too somewhere. Opposite sides of the gym, opposite corners. Got a lane violation on Mount Vernon. It's a five-point game, 2015 the score, first half. 3.30 left in the second, I should say. Is coming around now is Murph. Looking to go baseline, left it short, rebound, fighting for it. Oliver and Murph, but Brown's going to come up with it for the Rams. All right. Zay Nesbitt across the timeline, walking it across. I said it before he got there, 310 left in the half. Left wing, Oliver, top. They throw to Hopkins for a three, tried to bank it in. It was no good, a rebound to Crab and the Bulldogs. Hankins right wing, not going to leave it for Vallette out of the corner. Back to Hankins. Three on the way, would cut it to two. No, Brown will chase down the rebound. Gobbled it up. Good hands. And now Oliver going to do the rest, length of the floor. Did everything but make it. Got his own rebound, gave it to Zay. Now to Brown. Free throw line jumper, good. Yeah. 22-15. Kylan Brown off the bench with the mid-range game. Probably my new favorite Brown. Yeah. Jakai's going to have to take a seat. Yeah, yeah. we'll <laughs> see him uh, at Christmas time. As let's see, we have a timeout on the floor. Of course, we're talking about a Centralia orphan. May not go over well on most Mount Vernon broadcasts, but timeout. Like I didn't see who took it. Harrisburg. There we go. Got to be correct on the scoreboard here. You feel like uh, Mount Vernon makes a few of those layups. It'd be a 10 or 12 point game. I don't know. Somebody's holding that door open, and I couldn't be more thankful. Mm. Warm in great. here. It was. Warm last night at Shagnon. That feels incredible. Mm -hmm. 35 seconds remain in this timeout. Start saying the half, but that's not accurate. I read the scoreboard like a teleprompter, mm -hmm. and so when they switch to the timeout clock, sometimes it gets me. Just sneaks up and bites you. This timeout is presented by Budget Building Supplies. Can't forget about one of our great sponsors there. No job you have is too big, nor is it too small for budget building supplies in Woodlawn. Residential, commercial, and even agricultural supplies at the best value. 
The Rams right now up seven, 22-15. Looks like Barnes will check back in with two fouls. Two thirty left in the half, 22-15 score. Hankins with it for the Bulldogs, looking to Braxton Murphy, who had it stolen away. Good hands by Crowder. Going the other way. Here's Barnes with a flush. You love to see it. Yes. Unless you're the other team, and then you don't. And Mount Vernon picking up full court. It's 24-15, nine-point game, 2.08 left. We'll get you that replay in a moment. As a runner in the paint by Vallette is good. All I need is a dead ball so you don't miss any action. Barnes with it. Hits it back from Crowder up top, 148 left in the half. We may have to wait for the Huey Funeral Home halftime to show you that replay, but we're going to show you that replay. I'm old enough to remember three on the way is good. Jamar Sanders doing that a few times in the old Casey <laughs> Middle School gym. Barnes inside, Barnes outside, all Barnes. 27-17. The Rams are up 10 here over the Junior Bulldogs. Nice dribble work there by Hankins to work the shot. Aiden Hankins gets on the board. It's 27-19. Covered looking all right here for Mount Vernon basketball. I think, he's think so. He's got to stay at it. Yep. Come to the right side. Good fake into the paint. That's a great shot. Great layup by Josh Crowder. He's having an understatedly good night. You've seen a lot of depth being developed in the program, I think. Well, Pink's your man. Yeah. Murphy with it up top for the Bulldogs. 51 seconds to go in the second. Nice shot. That's tough. Tough shot. Makes it go down. I've been impressed with Braxton Murphy oh, yeah. as well. 29, 21, 41 seconds left in the half. What's David Barnes up to with the basketball across the timeline? Back and forth dribble. Left and right hand. He's going to back it up now with 30 seconds left in the quarter. 29-21, and we're going to have a legal screen on the Rams. So that'll be on Oliver. I believe that's his second. Second foul, yes. 27.7 seconds left to go here in the first half. So Chris Rudolph going to check in. How apropos for the season. He had a big game in the JV game earlier. Junior, junior Rams beat the Warriors in the JV contest earlier. We'll get you scores in the halftime. Here's Vallette on a drive. Right hand scoop good. Nash Vallette. Sounds like a tiny Nashville. Yes. That's Nash Vallette. 29, 23 scores, seven seconds left in half. Barnes, step back, three on the way, no good. Clanks off the side of the iron. Here we got a put back, and that's going to be good, I think, by Crowder at the buzzer. So that'll take us to halftime. It is the Casey Junior Rams 31, the Harrisburg Bull Junior Bulldogs 23. When we come back, we'll have the Huey Funeral Home halftime show from Casey Middle School at the Pinkston Palace. We're back after these. Never had a Culver's Butter Burger. Here are the three things you'll want to remember. Fresh, never frozen beef, seared after you order, crowned with a lightly buttered toasted bun. I guess that's why the number one reaction to eating a Culver's Butter Burger is, whoa, that is some burger. Welcome to Delicious, and your new favorite are seared after you order Culver's Butter Burger. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. This is Carmen Huey Deitman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and their families. You're listening to the Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. Now back to the broadcast booth. Back here at Casey Middle School where the Casey Junior Rams lead the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs 31-23. 
This is the final game of the day here at CMS. It's our last game as well, obviously, because we can't broadcast games that don't exist. But we did the final two games here on this Saturday. First one we did, Woodlawn beat Sacred Heart 69-34. Prior to that, the Casey Jr. Jr. Rams beat the Woodlawn Warriors JV 35-22. If you're not picking up what I'm dropping, that's just my way of the JV Jr. Rams would be the Jr. Jr. Rams. So hopefully you're, you're following along. Follow the game prior, I'm, I'm going in reverse order. Westland beat Mount Carmel 55-29. Waterloo beat Benton 56-29. So in order, it started with Waterloo beating Benton today 56-29. Westland over Mount Carmel 55-29. Casey's JV over Woodlawn's JV 35-22. Woodlawn beating Sacred Heart 69-34. If you're not watching this online, you're missing out because we're going to have, we have replay, we have all sorts of gadgets on our screen. And a moment ago, just a heck of a dunk by David Barnes. And we're going to watch that real quick again online. You just see it develop. Just a nice find. He'll slip up the right side and flush it. I mean, two hands, yeah. no problem. Just <laughs> quick work. Quick work for us as well on this Huey Funeral Home Halftime Show. We need to take a break. First, we'll tell you this is WMIX Mount Vernon as well as W243AVFM Mount Vernon. Top of the 4 o'clock hour in the central time zone. We'll come back, have scoring and stats. We're back after these. Are you looking to build? <laughs> Have you called Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn? They offer quality steel building supplies at the best value. Made in the USA, they work with contractors and do-it-yourselfers. Budget Building Supplies has your steel building supplies for residential, commercial, and agricultural. Wait, that's everything. They offer metal roofing, siding, gutters, trim, and more. No job too big or too small. Budget Building Supplies on Highway 15 in Woodlawn. Call 618-242-1123. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support area students and athletes. For over 100 years, they've been a voice for Illinois farmers, educational opportunities, and local students providing money and saving discounts at thousands of national brands and advocating for rural America in Springfield and Washington, D.C. By becoming a member, you're partnering to support local farmers and helping to ensure the success of one of the nation's largest and most vital industries. To join, visit Jefferson jeffersoncfb.org or contact the Jefferson County Farm Bureau at 618-242-4510. You can watch this game live from the Mount Vernon Shootout at WMIXsports.com. Made possible in part by Culver's of Mount Vernon. WMIXsports.com live a little longer. We're going to kill it on July 31st, I believe, and forward you to section 618.com, which is originally what WMIXsports.com was supposed to have been, just to let you in a little with there's broadcasting history. So I uh, didn't quite make it happen back in 2012, but here we are now. Section618.com app, technically a high school sports app, but you can watch this game on there if you aren't already. You can also listen to the WMIXAM feed for this game. Or you're listening on 90, AM 940. Said about said AM 94, then I about said 940 AM. Yeah. Couldn't make up my mind. 96.5 FM as well. As we're in your Huey Funeral Home halftime show. Whether you're interested in pre-funding your own funeral service, purchasing a monument, or have lost a loved one, Huey Funeral Home is dedicated to providing a personalized service with honor in every detail. 618-242-3348 or visit HueyFH.com. Let's get to scoring and stats. All right, first four, Harrisburg. They were 9 of 17 shooting from two-point range, 0-5 from three. 9 of 22 from the field, 41%. They went to the line six times, making five, which really kept them in the game. Mount Vernon out rebounds, Harrisburg 16-12. And the Bulldogs had seven turnovers, so only five for Mount Vernon. Five players scored for Harrisburg. It was Burke Wilson with two, Aiden Hankins and Ian Crabb with two each. Braxton Murphy had eight, and leading the way with nine points, it was Nash Vallette. For Casey Middle School Rams, 11 of 21 shooting from two-point range, three of 10 from three. It's 14 of 31, 45% from the field. They missed all three of their free throws. It was Kylan Brown and Noah Ellis with two each. Malik Grissom had three. Josh Crowder had eight, including a shot at the buzzer here in the second quarter. Xavion Nesbitt had seven, and leading the way with a big two-hand flush. He had nine points, David Barnes. Mount Vernon, a little bit of foul trouble. They got Barnes with two, Grissom and Carter Oliver with two each. Mount Vernon led it 13-9 to nine after a quarter and led five or six points the whole second quarter and made a shot at the buzzer to bring us to our halftime score. It's Casey Middle School Rams 31, the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs 23. 
At Huey Funeral Home, they believe in the dignity of the funeral service, full support of families during their time of need, and the very best in personal service. Call 618-242-3348 or visit HueyFH.com for more information. Of course, saw Huey Funeral Home donated the annual blocks of cheese to the Malvern and Police Department, so that's good to see. Always supporting the community. This is the Huey Funeral Home Halftime Show, and at the half, as Hank said, the Casey Junior Rams 31, Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs 23. We'll take a break, come back with the second half. This is the Holiday Hoops Mountain and Shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. We're back after these. Another reason Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin from our team member, Nick. Oh, yeah, that's an easy one. Wisconsin is the dairy state, so naturally, Culver's was inspired by everyone's favorite rich and creamy tradition, frozen custard. We make our fresh frozen custard in small batches in every Culver's. And the farm fresh dairy is why it's so decadent. It's a match, or <laughs> batch, made in heaven. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. Are you ready for your team to get their license? I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley. I know it's a little scary when you see your kids backing out of the driveway by themselves for the first time. But knowing that your young driver has the proper protection from Country Financial could make you feel better. Call today, 242-4024, or visit me online at josh.finley at countryfinancial.com. This special presentation of the Mount Vernon Shootout with limited commercial interruptions made possible by Culver's of Mount Vernon. AM 940, 96.5 FM, or the Section six or section 618.com app here today. You know what? It's fine. These kids are going to be in high school soon enough. They know the number one seat for Southern Illinois high school sports is Section 618. Section 618.com app. Download it from Google Play or the App Store, powered by Charlie's Air Conditioning and Heating, as we are back at Casey Middle School. We'll get started with the third quarter here in just a smidge, as it's 31-23, Casey Junior High on top. At the half, I Casey thought, Middle School. I thought point. Harrisburg did a pretty decent job being able to not get in a track meet with Mount Vernon. Now fouls are an issue for the Casey Junior Junior High Middle School, Casey Middle School Rams. So we're gonna watch that replay again of the steal and the dunk. Absolutely, David Barnes with the flush. Hope you enjoyed it. Glad to have those of you watching. Glad to have those of you listening. Some like to listen, some don't like to watch. Might have other things going on. Might be working out in the garage. That's fine. Right. Thirty-one twenty-three as we start the second half. Bulldogs with the basketball. Wilson with it. Feeds in the paint. Good spin. Oh, nice That's move. That's a beautiful move. block by Hankins. Four in the game now for Hankins, and that'll cut it to six. Easy backdoor play for the Rams. Finding Josh Crowder where it all began back in the first, back to 33-25. And assist goes to David Barnes. Uh, Nesbitt, I mean. Ballette to Murphy, down to the right corner for Crab, Looking underneath, almost stolen away. Good hands in there by Zay. Good save, but out of bounds will go. Malik Grissom on the slide. It'll be Bulldog basketball. Great effort by Grissom. Off of the inbound for the Bulldogs. Ballette on a crossover dribble. Now trying to drive in the paint. Good double team by the Rams. Throws up a wild shot, he'll advise, looking for the foul. Oliver gets the rebound, headed the other way. Stops up top, kicks, three, Grisson. No, off the back of the iron, rebound is out of the reach of the Rams. And now this will be Hankins to the basket. His layup short, rebound will go to Grisson. Number four into the front court, Mr. Grisson. Layup, good. Hit capture replay real quick. Coast to coast, drive by Malik Grisson. Did you get that on yeah, replay? I'm working on it. Hope so. Hope I clicked it you in gotta time. you got to be quick because he got down the floor quick. Yeah, all I need is a dead ball. Yeah. So we don't take away from the action. 35-25, Rams by 10. And again, I believe that's their largest lead, maybe yes. 11 at one point. Crab will go to the right arc. I believe Murphy trying to spin. Again, I was seated. Can't see that part of the floor well. And they throw inside. Stolen away, though. Won't matter. Crowder steals it from Wilson. Crowder going to take, then kick. Throws it in the corner for Zay. He'll go baseline. Kicks. Back to Crowder. Over Zay. He had to step over him. Got his own rebound. Puts it back up and in. And we'll have a uh, official's timeout here for St. Nesbitt. While they're tending to him, we'll watch that coast-to-coast -coast layup again by Grissom. 
See how he just splits the two defenders in the paint, got the layup up and falls. Looks like uh, Nesbitt's going to have to come out here. 5.05 left in the third. It's 37-25 Rams. He will check out. They'll look at him. Looks like he's holding his right hip. Five oh five left in the third. Mount Vernon's been able to speed this game up here the first two minutes of the third quarter. So a twelve point game here in the King City at Casey Middle School. Now with the right hand dribble. Nashville led across the timeline. Short corner here, Weatherington. He'll drive off the glass and no good. Looks like we'll have a 50-50 ball here. I believe it'll stay with Harrisburg. So the Bulldogs limit. I'm just going to watch it off my screen here, off the streaming video. It'll be a lob into the top, Weatherington. More off to the right, actually, with 4.49 left in the third. 37-25 score. Cross dribble here, now throwing to the mid post. Good backing up into the defender, and it's a blocked shot. Good job by Barnes to block the shot by Burke Wilson. And now throws to Oliver up top. 4.32 to go in the third. All the action today is presented by your Mount Vernon Culver's. Try that juicy butter burger. Three from Oliver is in and out. Did everything but go through the net. Rebound Bulldogs. Vallette now into the offensive end. Left wing driving and well, I think will pick up a foul. Although he leaned his head in. That's how the game works. So a foul on the Rams. Be the third foul on Malik Grissom. Looks like Coach Pinkson's going to leave in the game for the time being. And then we'll have a play in the paint by Noah Vallette. Nash Vallette, sorry. I feel like there was a Noah somewhere at one time. 37-27 the score. And now Oliver, that was the trail official calling it, so it's probably going to be an offensive or a defensive foul. Looks like you got a, a number 11. That's Burke Wilson to be a second foul. Off the baseline, Oliver found Barnes, right arc. 357 left, third quarter, 37 27. Looks like Nesbitt's getting ready to check back in, which is good to see. Yeah, he's holding his hip for a minute, yeah. but sometimes it just hurts for a little bit. Yeah. Grissom from the outside, three good. That'll stretch this thing a bit. Largest lead now 13 for the Rams on a Grissom three. The second three of the day. Weatherington into the front court. Quest with the basketball. Quest Weatherington inside the free throw line. Uses the bank. I love it. Did he mean to do that? I don't know. He can claim he did. <laughs> no, I mean, the people might doubt him, but he I made put it. two points down no matter what. 40-29 the score, 316 left in the third. This is Oliver with the basketball for the Rams. They're in white with gold and maroon trim. As now, let's see what this call is. It was before the barn shot. Looks like it's on Wilson. Th third foul on Burke Wilson. He's had the pass two now for the Bulldogs. As Zay will check back in for the Rams. Zay Nesbitt. The Zavion. Pink, Pink said we could call him Zay if we yeah. wanted to. Looks like he might be just a hair taller than his older I was brother. Say, what he's got you, the height advantage on big brother. Maybe about 6'1. Look, looking fairly tall. Yeah. Zay with it up top, slipped a little, recovered elbow, throws to the outside now, but gets it right back. Grissom. Zay into the paint, layup, good. Good move. Hot knife through butter is what that is. 42 29. Quest Weatherington into the front court at the center circle. Now to Crab, Ian Crab, right wing for the Bulldogs, throwing to the sideline here for Hankins. He'll try to drive. Rams do a good job shutting that baseline down, but then we'll have a runner in the lane by Quest Weatherington, who has four in the quarter. So 2.30 remains in this third quarter. Appreciate the Jefferson County Farm Bureau for their sponsorship of today's oh game. Oh, my. Another Nesbitt shuts me up. Nice He's move to the bucket by Zay. Uh, we see that in the high school games. Don't worry, I clicked it. We'll get that to you as soon as we can. 
Three on the way from the far side. No good by Murphy. Rebound will trickle out of bounds at the corner. Let's go ahead and show it real quick. Just what a move by Zay Nesbitt. A little hesitation dribble, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Unreal. Just glides, doesn't he? We just need to create a Nesbitt highlight reel for the end of the year, apparently. Even though we'll only have the one game of Zay. Well, you never know. Things can happen. Yeah. Grissom left wing three as he lets it go. No good. Rebound inside. Quest Weatherington. 44-31. That Ram lead 13. Quest Weatherington will give it up to Crab. Now to the near side for Murphy. Nice spin off. Goes underneath. Spins again. Uses the glass. Nice move. 44-33, but Harrisburg can't seem to get any closer than 11 right now with a minute 35 left in the third quarter. Oliver left wing. Nesbitt thought about a three out of the far corner. He'll drive. Nice bounce pass. And then a kick to Brown. Brown to the bucket. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Click that one. I got it. <laughs> wow. Kylan Brown. What a move. 46-33 with a minute 10 left in the third. I'll tell you what, though. It's a good Bulldog team, yeah. too. Obviously. Very solid. Very fundamentally sound. But just Casey looks to be next level. If they stick together, there's going to be no way Eldorado can shove them at 830 in the holiday tournament. I can tell you that uh, right now. Against Hamco. I've talked to some people that just don't make a lot of sense. But West Weatherington off the inbound, sixth in the quarter. And it's 46-35. And I know the folks back in Harrisburg feel me on that one. To be two of your biggest crowds, you want to take care of them at some well, point. We're not here to rip on Eldorado. Yes. We can, <laughs> but they've been running that tournament a long time. They probably know what they're doing. Probably my favorite in Southern Illinois right now. Yeah. The one I never get to go to. 46-35 score here. Harrisburg with the basketball. The Rams squander an opportunity with 45 seconds left. Hankins, nice spin move mid post, but can't finish. Rebound will be tipped, but it's right there to Crab who puts it back up. No, unkind iron that time. Zay fights for the rebound. We'll have a foul on a couple of different options as Zay runs into Brown. Brown might about to become the least favorite Brown right now yeah. if he <laughs> on that, but able to recover, and we'll see who gets the basketball here. Because that was actually a hook on Zay. Yeah. Zay Nesbitt. So it's Zay into the front court. It's Nesbitt right wing. Zay Nesbitt for three. No. 24 seconds left in the third. Bulldogs with the basketball down 11. Again, that seems to be the Achilles heel. Can't get any closer than that. As Murphy trying to work his defender back off a dribble. Throws to the outside. Coming in. Vallette. Yep. Nash Vallette. Now it's nine. 46-37 with six. Nesbitt has it right side. Throws it underneath to Brown. Uh-oh. Have to give it up. Trying to recover. They won't get a shot off. The Rams will not as they ran in some trouble in the paint. We will take it to the fourth. Here in... Mount Vernon, 46-37, Casey over Harrisburg. We'll be back after this. One more reason Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Hi, welcome to Culver's. Just take it from our team member, Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a customer. You're a guest in our home. See, where we come from, people do right by each other. It's why we cook each Butter Burger to order just for you. Right down to getting the perfect sear on the beef. Delicious. That extra care may be a small town thing, but it's big time important to us. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd in Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. Agriculture is everywhere. From fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Did you know 97% of farms in Jefferson County are family owned? Local farmers and families right here in our hometown who provide food, fuel, and fiber to all. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support local farmers who provide us with safe and nutritious food and materials we use every day. Learn more about where your food comes from and how we support local farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510. The Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. A special presentation from WMIX Sports. We headed the fourth and final quarter here from the Pinkston Palace on the campus of Casey Middle School. 46-37 score. The Junior Rams on top of the Junior Bulldogs by nine. Mount Vernon starts with the basketball here in quarter number four as Zay Nesbitt will walk it across the timeline. Dribbles left. Right hand dribble here. Now trying to get around a ball screen. 
Weatherington does a great job to stick, and now Barnes up top. He'll back it up. Go to a left hand now behind the back dribble. Throws to Crowder. Went baseline, had his pocket picked by Quest Weatherington, who's into the front court. Off the right wing, they throw into the corner for Ian Crabb. Crabb will go back to the wing. Good pass there, and now not much that Vallette can do. Ball fake and pivot. Now a bounce on a lead pass. Weatherington can't finish. Shot was blocked to recover. Throw into the corner for Hankins. Ball fake as he'll drive mid post. Gives to Murph, who is coming around, and Harrisburg, I think that was going to be a broken play regardless. Unless they give it back to the Bulldogs. I think they are. Okay. Swing by Culver's and try a juicy Butterburger or treat yourself to a frozen custard. Your Mount Vernon Culver's, veterans of 42nd at Mount Vernon. That's a good play there by Vallette, but he doesn't make it. Rebound Crowder, and he's fouled as he'll fall hard. Murphy will help him up, and that's good sportsmanship. Well, Harrisburg just can't quite get over the hump. They get it to 9 or 10, they'll miss a layup or something. And so now Crowder seems to be having some ankle issues. We hope he's okay. Looks like Kylan Brown will have to check in. So Brown will check in for the Rams. Crowder will have a seat. He'll leave with the assistance of the entire Casey coaching staff. It's like maybe turned an ankle. 46-37, 6.07 left in the fourth quarter. Casey on top. Agriculture is everywhere from fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Support local farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510 and learn about membership benefits with the Jefferson County Farm Bureau. We thank them for sponsoring today's games. 46-37, here's Zay Nesbitt. Oh, looked like he was going to go for the shot at the free throw line. Instead, it's a backdoor pass to Brown. He can't finish, and the rebound will go the other way to the Bulldogs. Nine-point game in Mount Vernon, 5.50 left in the fourth. Vallette with it. Right wing, switches left hand, goes to Crabb. Now to the near sideline for Weatherington. To Murphy up top, he's between the circles. Now left hand dribble to the wing, into the free throw line. Dribble drive, not there, picks it up. Turnaround jumper coming. It was contested, no good. Rebound chased down by Vallette. And now he'll pull up. A shot that's blocked by Zay Nesbitt, recovered by Barnes into the front court. Has a two a one on two, and he'll have his pocket picked. That'll be Mount Vernon basketball. I know Harrisburg wants it, they but want I, I literally saw it as it go out of. Oh, they're wrong. I'll argue that all day. I wish yeah. I could. I wish I'd hit the capture replay button. See Mount Vernon is picking up full court, man to man. 5.22 left. They'll have a heave, a half court heave now. Backdoor play, Murphy to Crab. He'll make the shot. 46 39, the lead down to seven for the Rams. As Harrisburg has managed to gain six points on the junior Rams. Zane Nesbitt with it at the circle. Five minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Limited commercial interruption today from your Mount Vernon Culvers. Zay, nice step to the basket. He'll try to throw it in, but it'll end up throwing it off of his own guy, David Barnes, out of bounds. Right right thought, just not quite the execution needed. And Harrisburg, an opportunity to put together a big run here. Another baseball toss to Murphy, but then stepping in front of it was Grissom. Harrisburg will reset beyond the arc. Bounce pass to the top here for Vallette. He's looking to the right side and off of the arc here. We'll have a timeout, Bulldogs. Harrisburg right back in it. They're a good team. Certainly. They're very well coached, very fundamentally sound. Budget Building Supplies offers metal roofing, siding, gutters, trims, and more. Visit their conveniently located shop off of Highway 15 in Woodlawn or call 618-242-1123. Full time out on the floor for Harrisburg. They've cut it to 7, 46-39. The Ram lead at one point was 13 here in the second half. I give credit to Harrisburg. They certainly do not beat themselves. They've only turned it over eight times, and they're able to handle this Mount Vernon pressure defense. Certainly appreciate the hospitality from all here in District 80 at Casey Middle School. Setting up the tables and chairs for us. Refreshments, the Wi-Fi, anything that we needed, they have certainly provided. A pretty nice crowd here today, especially the 
Woodlawn brought a bunch of people. I saw a nice West Clinton crowd on hand. Yeah, they've got a good team also. We, we walked in for the finish of that one. We missed the first game, Benson and Waterloo. And judging by the spread, 56-29, that's okay. Yeah. Inbound for the Bulldogs out of the timeout. Working to Vallette, runs into Mount Vernon traffic, and they'll have to outlet here on a pass. Vallette gets it back up top from Crab. Now to Murphy on the near wing. They throw underneath to Hankins. Leans in against the defender. Puts a shot up. It's no good, but Hankins got his own rebound. Wrong place, wrong time for the Rams here with 4.16 left in the fourth. Now it's Vallette working against Barnes. Trying to get inside the, inside the arc, and Barnes will get the steal, but dive out of bounds with it. It'll remain with the Bulldogs. So 4.09 to go, fourth quarter action here from the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. Bulldogs will inbound, they'll find Quest Weatherington and we'll have a foul, I think, away from the basketball. Believe they got Crowder on the foul. Quick inbound, it'll be Weatherington on a reverse layup, and he's bailed out by a foul. Creeping back in it. Henry, I'm not going to lie, there's times where it's like I can say stick a state back, and remember, one, this isn't 3A basketball. Yeah. Two, this isn't high school basketball. A lot of these are normal calls in yeah. the junior high circuit. So Grissom fouls out. I think he had eight. A seven-point game here in Mount Vernon, 46-39. Casey Jr. Rams lead the Harrisburg Junior Bulldogs. Quest Weatherington is at the line here for Harrisburg. First free throw is good. Forty-six forty could cut it to five. Does just that. Times I do forget I'm not watching a high school game. Yeah. Mount Vernon needs a basket here. Oliver out of the corner for a big three. It's a line drive and it's short. Off of the iron, rebound to the Bulldogs. Weatherington, a home run throw and it's intercepted by Zay Nesbitt. Might be a new corner for Dan Mings in a year. Yeah. That's a nice move by David Barnes to the bucket off of the baseline. That is a nice bucket. It's an eight point, seven point game, 48-41. Rams first basket of the fourth quarter. Crab, no looker. Weatherington to the outside. Murphy wants a three. It's short. Rebound will go to the Rams. But they throw it away in transition. Now a Vallette three. Nope, just two. Foot was on the line for Vallette, but he knocks it down, having a big day. 48-43, five-point game, 320 left. About a little over halfway through the fourth quarter. Right side three this time, a little bit more arc to it, but still a miss by Oliver, rebound to the Bulldogs, and the Rams are giving it to him right now. And as Vallette wanted a three, and we'll have a Bulldog timeout, sponsored Harrisburg by Budget Building Supplies. certainly packing in that defense. They'll let Mount Vernon fire away from outside, and I don't blame them. Budget Building Supplies has steel companies. Pardon me, let's start that over. Budget Building Supplies has steel building, comp building supplies. I'm reading three different lines here, apparently. All made in the USA. Visit them on Highway 15 in Woodlawn or call 618-242-1123. I mean, Harrisburg's decided to pick their poison. Mount Vernon's 4 of 17 shooting from three, so Harrisburg wisely is going to let Mount Vernon fire away. Nine seconds left in this timeout, so enough time to tell you, that, as just reiterate what you just said, with Harrisburg packing it in, yeah. Rams shot selection, certainly an issue right now for Casey. You wonder at some point Mount Vernon can just Maybe pull it out, make Harrisburg chase a little bit here with three minutes left. Both teams with four fouls apiece. If our timeout count is accurate, Harrisburg has two remaining. The Rams have four. I don't keep them noted in my book. I just watch them on the screen on the WMIX Sports YouTube. Quick inbound for the Bulldogs. It's intercepted. Oliver will go into the front court now for the Rams. Up five, 257 left in the fourth. He needs help, they'll pressure, and guess what? Pink has timeouts Good left. timeout there. Harrisburg 
did indeed start chasing a little bit. They're going to have to. We'll see wow. what Pinkston can draw up here. Good inbounds play to get the ball inbounds, get it probably to Nesbitt. Malvern don't want the ball in his hands. Good timeout for the Titan from Tower Hill. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You've been holding that one all day, haven't yep. you? They're 48-43. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I believe he was uh, the all-time lean scorer at Tower Hill High School, Travis yep. Pinkston. No longer a thing, nor yeah. is Witt, home of the Speed Boys. Yeah. A lot of storied institutions that are now defunct up in those that neck of the woods. Tower Hill close to Pena, for those of you who may be wondering. 48-43 mm -hmm. contest, Rams by five, 254 left in the fourth. We do throw random stuff out there a lot, don't wow. we? Wow. <laughs> the Titan of Tower Hill. <laughs> Zay Nesbitt with the basketball. The Zavian Nesbitt throwing to the left side here for Noah Ellis. Back to Zay with 2.41 left, 48-43 Junior Rams. Zay, left-hander, but oh, goes baseline. Oh. Left it long. Missed a bunny. <laughs> a bunny for him. Yeah, he's going to the layup. He, he was too open. Ooh, boy. If you're looking for a fun, fast-paced, good-paying job, work for the Blue Crew family at Culver's and Mount Vernon, sponsors of this broadcast day, limited commercial interruption. Quest Weatherington, the pass to Murphy, and then it's an intercepted underneath. Again, that's not something I can see well from my perspective, but Crowder threw ahead to Zay Nesbitt, and that'll be the fifth Harrisburg foul. So Quest Weatherington picks up his second. He's now on a quest not to foul out. Yeah. I love that name. <laughs> For those of you in Harrisburg, that is not poking fun. That is a great name, and it's mm -hmm. fun to say. Nice lob here for Barnes as he'll go to the basket and one. That's what the Rams have needed. Huge shot there. Two oh nine left, fourth quarter, and Barnes will go to the line. Make, knocks down the free throw. Eight point game here in Mount Vernon at Casey Middle School. Weatherington with the basketball, dribbling free throw line, then kicks. This is Vallette. He'll drive. High post entry, and the shot's no good. Rebound will be tipped. I hear it go out of bounds, but can't see who touched it. It'll be Mount Vernon basketball. Judging by Johnny Pink over there, yeah. Future broadcaster doesn't know it. Yeah. And a length of the floor inbound for the Rams off of the team rebound. Zay finds Crowder now to the corner. Noah Ellis, three. Yes, sir. 54-43, that lead. You guessed it, back to 11 on a run by the Rams. Vallette with it off of the right arc with a minute 33 to go. We'll have your postgame show coming up with scoring and stats. And then back to the Christmas music. Hankins off of the wing, dribbled in, and the Bulldogs threw it away, but I think the Rams got a hand Maybe in Maybe a tip. A minute 21 left in this one. And Pink wants a timeout. Boy, the game was in doubt with about 2.09 left. It was, what, 48-43, and then you get the Barnes basket and a foul. The Rams get a stop. Then a huge three by Noah Ellis to really – probably put this game out of reach. Yeah, <laughs> big but three. The, well, certainly Harrisburg is uh, representing themselves very well. Let's watch that Ellis three again. Just out of the corner and just knocks it down. What a shot by Ellis. I got another replay I wanted to try to show if we had it. I don't remember what it was, though. Oh, it was Brown from earlier. We never showed Brown, did we? That was the best move all night. Look at this Brown. He put about two different moves on. Kylan Brown from earlier. One and then two. There they are. For those of you not watching us, listening to AM 940 96.5 FM, you're missing out by not watching the video stream. We're glad to have you on the radio. But that was just an incredible athletic move by Kylan Brown underneath. Back in the third quarter. We're sorry to get it to you now, but we're glad we had a full timeout presented by Budget Building Supplies in Mount Vernon. The best service and pricing in the industry for contractors or those do-it-yourselfers, otherwise known as DIY, DIYers. See, I can't say it, so that's why I read it the other way. It's budget building supplies in Woodlawn. 
Highway 15 or call 618-242-1123. The quick feed into the paint. Hankins, the turnaround jumper. Shot was partially blocked by Oliver, and now they'll fight for the rebound. And up out of bounds, last touch by Weatherington. And it'll be Mount Vernon basketball up 11 with a minute 14 left. I'm not going to say it's in hand and that the Rams are going to improve to 11 and 1, but it feels pretty good. As Brown back door find, oh, but missed it. It was a good pass by Nesbitt. The iron just unkind. Ellis back on defense. And now up top, Weatherington looks to the left side with less than a minute to go. Hankins on a fake. Now Weatherington on a fake. Goes back to the right side for Vallette. This is a good Harrisburg team. Yeah. Great ball movement here by the Bulldogs. They kick it back to Vallette to find their shot. Three is no good, however. Rebound will go to Crowder, and the Rams will go the other way. Oliver into the front court with 38 seconds to David Barnes. As, uh, Casey Middle School Rams are going to improve to 11-1 on the season. Harrisburg will drop to 12-2. And, and their losses are not bad losses, as we will have a foul on that left side. Then I heard another whistle. Should be one and one for Mount Vernon. Yes. So 25.2 seconds remain. It's one and one time for David Barnes. Pretty good team. <laughs> it's been a good game. And the score, this, this is closer than the score in my And opinion. I know how coaches are. Pinkston will probably say they didn't play their best today. I, I probably missed quite a few layups, I think. But <laughs> they're a load. Certainly. Then he can go to the bench, and he just don't he don't lose much when he can go eight or nine deep. And so, Barnes is at the line, makes the first. We'll have another on the bonus, making 55-43. Again, remember the largest junior Ram lead is 13, and we won't get there. But Zay fights for the rebound, tips to Oliver. Oliver off of the arc. 55-43. Rams by 12. 18 seconds left. You'd have to think we'll just be content with this being the final. Now a six, five. And that's going to be all she wrote. Final score, Casey Jr. Rams 55. Harrisburg 43. We'll come back with your postgame show. This is the Jefferson. No, it's not. This is the Holiday Hoops Malvern and Shootout. We're back after these. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support area students and athletes. For over 100 years, they've been a voice for Illinois farmers, educational opportunities, and local students providing money and saving discounts at thousands of national brands and advocating for rural America in Springfield and Washington, D.C. By becoming a member, you're partnering to support local farmers and helping to ensure the success of one of the nation's largest and most vital industries. To join, visit jeffersoncfb.org or contact the Jefferson County Farm Bureau at 618-242-45. This is Carmen Huey Dykeman of Huey and Newell Funeral Homes. And this is Marty Mills. We know that the weeks between Thanksgiving and the New Year can be joyful but stressful. While these times are enjoyed with the warmth of your families, it can be very difficult for those that have experienced a loss. This is a time to reflect and remember the wonderful memories we have shared with our loved ones. And let us keep in our hearts and minds all the men and women who are currently serving in our military, especially those who are unable to be with family and friends this holiday season. May all our prayers and thoughts continue to be with them and and their families. Are you looking to build? <laughs> Have you called Budget Building Supplies in Woodlawn? They offer quality steel building supplies at the best value. Made in the USA, they work with contractors and do-it-yourselfers. Budget Building Supplies has your steel building supplies for residential, commercial, and agricultural. Wait, that's everything. They offer metal roofing, siding, gutters, trim, and more. No job too big or too small. Budget Building Supplies on Highway 15 in Woodlawn. Call 618-242-1123. When you think about planning for tomorrow, it may seem overwhelming. At Country Financial, we have a suggestion. Don't get overwhelmed and get started. Because when it comes to solving the big challenges of tomorrow, you can start with simple steps today. With personalized insurance and financial services that can have a big impact on your family's future. Country Financial. When you're ready to start, we're ready to help. I'm Country Financial Representative Josh Finley. 
please visit my office at Historic 1004 Main Street, Mount Vernon, or call 242-4024. You're listening to the Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School. Now back to the broadcast booth. AM 940, 96.5 FM, and of course, WMIX Sports on YouTube today. Chris Hugo, Hank Evans alongside for your post-game show. The Casey Junior Rams win this over Harrisburg, 55-43. to And Henry for the Rams, big performance. Harrisburg, a great team as well. Harrisburg hung in there very well. In fact, the game was still in doubt with about two minutes left. But Mal Vernon scored the last seven points of the game to put a little breathing room as they went at 55-43. We'll have some scoring and stats still to come here on our post-game show. But... First of all, thanks again to everybody at Casey Middle School, part of District 80 here in Mount Vernon, the city schools, and taking great care of us today and all these teams and all the coaches and all the athletic directors for not only Harrisburg but here at Casey where Pink helped us out a lot. And, of course, their entire athletic department was great. But then Woodlawn got us all the information we could have ever asked for. Of course, we're pretty familiar with both Casey and Woodlawn already. But then Sacred Heart out of Effingham as well. We appreciate everybody who got us info. And that certainly makes our job very easy, so it's definitely appreciated. We'll take a break, come back, get you those stats, and wrap it up from our day here at the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. We're back after these. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Just ask our team member, Marcus. Let's just say you can take the restaurants out of America's Dairyland, but you can't take America's Dairyland out of the restaurants, like the real Wisconsin cheese on our juicy butter burgers. The farm fresh dairy in our fresh frozen custard. Even our crispy golden Wisconsin cheese curds. It may sound cheesy. <laughs> cheesy. But we love where we come from at Culver's. Culver's at Veterans and 42nd and Mount Vernon. Welcome to Delicious. Agriculture is everywhere. From fresh popcorn at the concession stand to the leather basketball on the court. Did you know 97% of farms in Jefferson County are family owned? Local farmers and families right here in our hometown who provide food, fuel, and fiber to all. Jefferson County Farm Bureau is proud to support local farmers who provide us with safe and nutritious food and materials we use every day. Learn more about where your food comes from and how we support local farmers at jeffersoncfb.org or call 618-242-4510. You can watch this game live from the Mount Vernon Shootout at WMIXSports.com. Made possible in part by Culver's of Mount Vernon. You can still watch it live. Not much to watch except our scoring and stats, and you're not going to see us, but we're glad to have you anyway, whether you're on AM 940 or 96.5 FM as the Casey Junior Rams beat Harrisburg today, 55-43 to in the late afternoon cap of the Holiday Hoops, the Mount Vernon Shootout hosted by Casey Middle School. Hank Evans alongside, I'm Chris Hugo, Alan Ross back at the Mount Vernon studio. Jeff Crow is taking care of things today with our video in the broadcast booth, but it's Henry Evans, Henry Aaron Evans with the postgame stats. All right, first for Harrisburg as they fall to 12-2 and two on the season. They were 18 of 40 shooting from two-point range, 0 of 7 from three, 18 of 47 from the field, 38%. Shot it very well at the foul line. They were 7 of 8 at the stripe. Mount Vernon out-rebounded Harrisburg 28-24, and the Bulldogs turned it over 11 times to only 9 for Mount Vernon. Scoring for Harrisburg, it was Quest Weatherington with 8, Aiden Hankins with four, Ian Crabb with four. Burke Wilson had two, Braxton Murphy 10, and leading the way with 15 points, it was Nash Vallette. For the Casey Middle School Rams, they were 19 of 34 from two point range, five of 18 from three, 24 of 52 shooting, 50, 46%. And Mount Vernon was two of six from the free throw line. Scoring for the Rams as they improve to 11 and 1. It's Kylan Brown with four, Noah Ellis with five, Malik Grissom had eight, Josh Crowder 12, Xavion Nesbitt with 11, and then David Barnes led the way with 15 points. It was 31 23 at the half. Mount Vernon stretched it out 46 37 after three. It was actually a 48 43 game with about two minutes and 10 seconds left, and then Barnes with the basket and the foul. And then Noah Ellis comes down and makes a three to make it the final margin, which is the Mount Vernon, I should say, Casey Middle School Rams 55, Harrisburg 43. There you go. Wraps up a junior high day of basketball for us. Not Honest to goodness, I've never done junior high play-by-play before. Normally I've done color uh, back in the day. The last game I would have done would have been a 2013 Class S Finals, Roman Woodlawn. 
with uh, DC on the call of those. It was fun. Good to see the possibly the future of both Woodlawn and Mount Vernon High Schools, even Harrisburg, and and possibly a combination of St. Anthony and Effingham today in terms of the games that we witnessed. And I, I thought this was a well-run event. Travis Pinkson deserves an infinite amount of credit for getting it going, and I know uh, Doug Jones and the, the athletic staff here at, at Casey kind of took over from there. And um, Great idea, great shootout. Hope to see it again. I hope they have us back. It was certainly enjoyable. Give us some matchups we can call, and it sounds like we'll be back. Yeah. As uh, not a bad day of hoops. Nope. And I think uh, between Woodlawn, Harrisburg, and Mount Vernon, I'd say all of them have a chance to make deep runs in the postseason. We look forward to it, of course. For Hank Evans, for Alan Ross, for Jeff Crow, for all of us at WMIX Sports, I'm Chris Hugo. Final scores today from the shootout included, as I'll give them to you one more time, Waterloo beating Benton 56-29, Westland all over Mount Carmel 55-29. In the JV contest, it was Casey Junior High 35, Woodlawn 22. And the game preceding ours, Woodlawn beat Sacred Heart 69-34. to And this one just wrapped up with Casey beating Harrisburg 55-43. So long. This has been the Holiday Hoops Mount Vernon Shootout from Casey Middle School, a WMIX sports special presentation made possible in part by Culver's of Mount Vernon, the Jefferson County Farm Bureau, Huey Funeral Home, Budget Building Supplies, Josh Finley Country Financial, and Dollar Saving Deals